hope you can pick that up. There's 50 hertz on it. Hi everybody. Been some time I know, I must apologise, but I've been very busy at work. I work in a, a, a necessity industry, so I have to go to work. Uh, anyway, this is... Um, it's an F6 in one of these Chinese cases. I posted a little video earlier, um, some time ago, some weeks ago now. This thing had a hum, and I mean hum. It was like a Boeing 747 taking off. Um, just constantly a hum. Uh, but I th think we got to the bottom of it. Um, I'm going to take the top off this in a second. This has been powered up and been running for four hours. I'm around about the, I don't know if I can get it on there, get it on, about 45 degrees, uh, about 45 degrees on the heat sinks, something like that. Um, so I don't want to tweak it anymore. It's running at, this is an F6 clone from DIY Audio. Uh, and it was built by a third party. I didn't build it, um, but the customer, um, didn't like the hum and neither did I uh, and I said I'd have a look at it for him but it's turning a bit of a nightmare really uh, and I just want to run through a few things that a few people may find interesting um, take the lid off I have to say the quality of the case is absolutely astounding the thickness of this this is just the lid um, I mean that's like six millimeters thick anyway there's an f6 now one of my biggest issues with it um, is the actual space we have inside uh, is a, a 500 va transformer uh, the dual or plus and minus power supply the normal DIY audio power supply with some diodes uh, that which feeds the two F6 boards left and right here but the distance across here is very tight so much so the input transformers to the F6 boards are right next to all the diode banks um, not ideal at all and in actual fact, I've had to run the AC, uh, it, the AC in comes up and across the top, I've tried to segregate the AC from the DC and the outputs. Um, you've got two speaker protection modules and a soft start module. And they're just, there's just not enough room, there's not enough space, in my view, uh, to make this work well. I think it could work. All of my builds, I've put all the AC to one end. So the AC, which is your mains into your transformer, and then off to your diode banks, I would have had that round the other way. So all the AC was at this end, close to here. So you didn't have to run AC across the, across the chassis as such. There is no sub-chassis, so you can't really go under... Um, like a Hi-Fi 2000, like a normal 5 or 4U, you can have a sub-chassis -chass and you can run the mains under and away to a switch, but you can't do that with this. So everything's being clobbered with this AC. Uh, cut a long story short, I changed everything. I rewired it. Uh, went on DMY Audio and they said you've got to twist all these wires together, um, twist these together, twist these together, twist these together. These are secondaries not used. Uh, I've got to tidy this up yet, just finalise it. I'm going to tuck them back out of the way, keep them well out of the way. And twisted everything together and to no avail. It was still humming like a swine. So I then went on and changed various components. Uh, the devices, these devices um, were in it, if it will focus. Uh, there. I don't know if you can see that. 
these things. I've never used them, uh, but apparently they're very good. Um, but I, I was trying everything to try and stop this thing humming. In the end, um, I took all the power supply out of this case and put it to one side so that it, there was no way that any magnetic stray fields could be interfering with the electronics inside this case. Of no avail, it still hummed like a dinger. So there's obviously something else. So I swapped out a good power supply I know in my F6 into this amplifier, still had the hum. My known good power supply I had externally, still humming. So I then realised it was something to do with the, the F6 boards themselves and nothing to do with the power supply because I know my power supply is good. So much so, I took out one of my F6 boards, put it in here, along with this power supply, lo and behold, it worked perfectly. Well, it worked. No hum. Uh, so I reverted back and started to inter oh, excuse me, interrogate these boards. And the culprits are these things. Ohm right resistors, wire wound. These are five watts, and I can only imagine they're like an aerial for mag for uh, mag magnetic stray fields. I also found out that a lot of these resistors, this type of resistor, I don't again, I don't know whose they are. Somebody be able to tell me. Um, they seem okay. They measure very very well, but in the end. Instead of me trying to find out, because the whole thing was saturated in 50 hertz, this hum. Um, in the end, I swapped out every resistor for uh, Dale RN55s. I also upgraded the um, three diodes end mod, three, 3K3 resistor and three LED mod because I couldn't get it to bias up correctly. One was okay, the other one wasn't. It just wasn't balancing nicely. But now I've got a steady state 500 millivolts. So each side draws an amp. The offset is near as damn at zero and it runs at about 45 degrees with an ambient temperature of about 20, 22. Um, it sounds great. There is still some minor, minor, faint, faint, faint. Um, I won't call it a hum. It's more of a hiss or a buzz. But you've got to get your ear about 10 millimetres away from the speaker to hear it. Uh, normal listening position, no problem at all. You can't hear anything and it sounds as sweet as a nut. So just some words of caution, really. Uh, try and put it in a bigger case. What I mean by bigger is... You need space between here, between the diode bank uh, and the input transformer. Or I, I couldn't turn this round because of the, we've got a, a dial on the front here, this thing here. I couldn't turn the whole thing round without major engineering and rewiring. I didn't want to get into that. It does work, it's fine. But just words of note. Um, twisted ACs. Twisted DCs, as you can see, there was a can, a big can, over the transformer. This one of these cans, top acts as they call them. Uh, unfortunately, it's so tight, um, you could get it in with all this wiring, push down the sides, but it's so tight you couldn't twist any of these together. You twist them together, it wouldn't go on. Um, and in actual fact, it made no difference, and I think it made it worse. So I've left it out. It's not as neat. It's not doesn't look as neat and tidy, obviously. As I say, I'm going to tidy all this up. That, that, this will be, go down under there somewhere. Um, but twist all your ACs together. Twist all your speaker cables together. 
Um, I did try it with just single tracks, didn't work well. My other concern was when I received this, th this is 240 volts unprotected here. I am going to put a little shield over here. Um, bit naughty that. Uh, I wouldn't have done that. <clears throat> so we have a bias of 0 0.5, 0.52, as near as damn it, five or half a volt of bias on this channel. The offset is 0 0.6 of a millivolt, not even one. Absolutely rock steady, floats about a little bit rock steady this is rock steady this has been powered up for four hours on the bench perfect Take, took me a bit of time to balance this um, this board on the right hand side is exactly the same um, just out of interest for you just to make sure we're correct i think the spec is 0.4 milli 400 millivolts um, but with these heat, heat sinks they're quite chunky I've pushed it to 0.5 so each side takes an amp amp that side so it's a 2 amp device just over and it seems to be quite happy and stable this floats up and down depending on how you want to disturb the air inside uh, but with the lid on there you see it's, it goes down <laughs> that's how sensitive it is but um with the lid on it is very very stable very um nice just a bit of information Just another one folks thanks for watching i hope you keep safe this is laverna the implementer i will be back with another video um i don't know what i think it i can't remember what it could be same some power supply i think but um thanks for watching thanks for the thumbs up if you bother i'm not worried if you don't i don't i don't adhere to all that thanks a lot all the best